Hello, hello. Welcome to my rather messy home office. Over here in Malaysia, we've been in lockdown now for the past five weeks. Or is that six weeks now? Anyway, today we join Captain Elliot from North Carolina, USA, who wants to catch a sailfish on the fly. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you guys the flies we use and also the gear. So let's go to the video. <laughs> Go, 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 let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, 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 Ah, oh, so close, so close. That was awesome. Oh, oh man. it's here, it's here, it's here. Come, 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 Yeah. 
Congratulations to Elliot for landing three sailfish on the fly on his first attempt. There could have been more fish landed actually, but I think nobody is complaining. Elliot is a really fun guy to fish. He's, he's a very nice guy, and he learned really quick on the boat uh, what to do, you know, when it comes to fly fishing for sailfish. Okay, let's get to the gear. So this trip, Elliot was using a sage motif chop weight rod match to this Nautilus Silver King reel. One of my favorite reel because it's really large upper, very narrow, quick, you know, retrieve of line. And then the line we use was actually this real tropical GT line. And then flies We were mainly using the splice that are tied by Nick Ui from Tackerbox Adventures. So I think you saw in the video we had a lot of success with the pink ones like that, you know, like that. And we also had takes on uh, those with uh, synthetic materials so I hope you enjoyed this video please click the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel stay safe and I'll see you guys again soon <laughs>